we're back for Wednesday night, which we all know that means Janine night. How are you doing, Janine? You know what? I'm doing really good, Catherine. How are you doing? I'm really good. I'm feeling really, really calm. And I wanted to speak to about this, but I have yeah. got some special news because I am about to, I feel like I've got labor pains coming because my new rescue cat is traveling over the channel can't tunnel as we speak. So it could be a very exciting night for me. I don't know when she's going to arrive sometime over the next 24 hours because there's lots of drop offs, but and, and doesn't that set the tone in terms of, you know, we've been all talking about there's so much happening on the global scale but it's amazing how good you can feel when you focus on something that's right here, right now for you. Yeah. Oh, it's so important. You know what? I had Megan Rose on Sending Ravens yesterday and we were chatting about, you know, just life and just not about the news so much. Exactly. And uh, so many people appreciated it because we got them thinking about, yeah, what's right in front of them or what's happened in their life. And it's not always have to be about the drama, right? And that's so interesting because that's what I've been speaking to about with all my friends and sort of colleagues. And I think it's so important. And, you know, I feel because I've stopped talking about that and stopped engaged, I have watched a few things like um, someone sent me the really good documentary that o Oliver Stone had made on the, are we allowed to say the U country? I think so, as long as we yeah. don't see it several times. Too many times. So about Ukraine. And that was really, really good because it was oh. really, really educational. And really, I mean, it's, it's beautifully made. It's a brilliant film. And so I'm going to have to watch it a few times. It's on my Telegram. But I have been staying away from a lot of the drama because this sort of leads into the first question I wanted to discuss with you. And whether it's a discussion and how much is for the cards and how much is for Janine, I'm not, I'll leave that up to you. But it was um, so obvious that both sides, there's so much fear being spread. Mm. And so I was wondering if we could ask the cards what advice they can give for people just to just to be able to step out of that. And a lot of it is, as you say, you were talking about with Megan. I saw that it was really good. And it's exactly where I'm feeling as well. It's like when you distance yourself, it's not burying your head. It's very different to burying your head in the sand, isn't it? Yeah. Very different. But when you yeah. focus on lots of sort of wonderful things that are happening, in your mm. own life and if they're not lots of wonderful things you know I've been doing a series on manifesting what do you want to yeah. manifest for your life yeah you know I just the Janine part of that yes <laughs> good. Part, um, for me it would be like you in the big picture so you stay big picture you know we know that or we I think we know I hope we know I know let's say I know that uh, human race will come out of this. And my feeling consistently and what I've been getting in the cards is we're gonna come out of this better. Yeah. And so it's all a lesson. And also my whole life experience taught me that. They taught me that the harder things were, the bigger the lesson, the more I had to really check in with my personal integrity and do what personally was right for me. That was the only way to get through the lesson, every single lesson I ever had. Uh, you face these things and you you have to do the integral thing even if it's hard uh you have to tell the truth even if it's hard like to yourself at least you know what I mean yeah. and just try to be personally integral in the situation from a place of personal freedom and make a choice for yourself so that's been going on my whole life and lots of people have had that experience where they recognize that the whole world just gives you these lessons so the harder the lesson like it takes longer to get through, but once you figure out what you're trying to teach yourself, so what we're trying to, what the human race is trying to learn from this. And the biggest lesson is not to fear. Yeah. In my opinion, the biggest lesson is because this has been going on right under our noses, all of these things that have been lies and uh, how we've been mis really misused and uh, abused really. Okay. Mm -hmm. So couple of things I've learned in my life. I'm not a victim, so I, you can't go into victimhood. That's not going to work. And I also um, am not afraid. So I've learned not to be afraid of things. The only thing I, I'm still afraid of, the one thing I could actually say I'm absolutely not over being afraid of is heights. Me too. That's so yeah. funny. I, but yeah. mind over matter, I've got a story about heights. Because when I was in Australia, 
and climbing when I was there, it was a long while ago, so we called it Ayers Rock then, but Uluru. And I am so scared of heights. And I thought when I went out there, it's going to be like a big hill, but it's proper steep and proper thing. It's just the most amazing place. But uh-huh. my best friend I was with, so I could not look back. I, I virtually set the world record for going up there because once I started, I couldn't look sideways. I couldn't look down. I was just focused on that way because otherwise I just went to jelly. But she twisted her leg, her ankle really badly at the back, at the top no help up there or anything and at the when you get to the top it's not just flat it's huge great sort of moguls so because I was so focused because I was seriously got to the top and I thought I can't go down because when you're going down I couldn't look up I had to look down and all you can see is this huge fall but because I was so focused on the fact that we were going to be deserted there if we didn't get down in time by the time the coach left yeah I didn't have any fear of the height so it just shows it's all in your head and it when you yeah. have something else to focus on which is yeah. exactly the same as now isn't it yep exactly um, good one yeah. that's a good story it that was hysterical and I, I it was really funny because I was literally shaking like a leaf when I looked come down and then she was in a real state and I couldn't look at that I just had to focus on getting her down and miraculously the fear went away just like that wow Uh, these are the cards what the universe wants to say about it so have a vision for what you want your future to look like have a wish and a desire that's a wish card focus on your wish and see the big picture this is the really big picture where you go from one so we're going from one plateau so the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius or from 3d to 5d there's all these ways you could explain it right and we're apparently we're sitting in 4d right now yeah The truthers, the people awake enough, they're not quite into 5D yet, because 5D would be uh, there's there's uh, abundance for all and we don't have war and that's 5D. We're not there yet. We're in 4D. You know what I mean? But some people are still in 3D. Yeah. People we love even they're in 3D, some of them. Anyway, so we're looking at so the world card, you come to this this plateau where you can look back and see everything that went on to got you, that got you here, but you don't know exactly what's beyond. So once she steps out of that, so there's that safety moment where you know you're safe from the past that was treacherous, but you don't know what the future looks like. So you got a moment to just sit there, take a moment to sit there and really congratulate you on everything you learned from the past, everything we've discovered. So we'll never go back there. Once you learn things spiritually, you never have to revisit them. Exactly. Okay. So you could take that moment because the world takes a moment and stays in safety before they get unsafe again into new territory, right? Because we're going to create new governments, new school systems, new, likely a lot of us are going to be part of that. So we're just at that moment, even if that moment sits here for a a couple of years of disorganized recreating, I mean, like we can't, that can't, that stuff doesn't happen overnight. But the good news is we'll never go back there. That's the good news of that card. We're never going back there. So spend time visualizing how you want it to be and what you desire it to be like, because we create our own destiny. I've definitely created everything that's happening to me today. I wished for, I wish for, I don't like uh, being bored. (laughs) I'm not bored. I haven't been bored for two years straight. I don't like just sitting around. I like to be useful. I love to be somehow relevant. I love to be, do you know what I mean? Uh, So everything I wished for, I wanted to be financially secure. I've never been more financially secure. I'm not a rich person, but I feel really secure for a person that came up as a single parent with a single parenting two kids. That's usually not the case. You usually stay stuck in Mm -hmm. uh, a financial doldrum. And uh, I busted out of that. Uh, and I also I did it on my own terms and uh, nobody's my boss and I'm free okay so visualize that and be that even if it's there's all these threats around us that look like that might not happen the threats have already been conquered but now we have to literally get the government on board with where we're at we have to catch everything all those systems have to catch up we already won this in a way, by just the the fact that we woke up, enough people woke up, we won this already. Okay, but now we have to literally take on uh, saying no and changing things. 
I so agree. And don't you think, Janine, that we've only won it if, if we truly believe it internally? And what I mean by that is when we truly believe that we're never going back to the old systems, we literally, our actions will back that up. So we won't be yep. buying off the corrupt organisations. Yep. We won't be working for people that are restricting our freedoms, etc. Yep. Because when you truly believe it, your actions are in an alignment with that belief. Yep. And therefore, everything has to change. That's sort of the law of the universe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so so um, I definitely created my new cat because, unfortunately, the last two cats that we had that passed over, one was yep. Patch and one and Fluffy Duffy, who a lot of people saw on here because she used to join me in a lot of my videos. And the new cat, Mitzi, is like a combination of both. She's got Patch's short hair and looks like Patch. But instead of the black patches, she's got Duffy covered patches. It's just... <laughs> Created, created, and then suddenly, all oh, this cat needs a home. Yeah. First to volunteer. Okay, <laughs> that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Good. So, um, the other thing, this sort of follows on a bit, but can we ask the universe? There's a lot of people, and we touched on this um, the last time we spoke, actually, about a lot of people might be at, a, at some level swapping the mainstream media for their favorite truther, which is still a way of giving their power away. So can we ask the cards? Because a lot of people are starting to recognize that. It doesn't mean that they can't watch our videos, doesn't mean they can't that, but there's a difference between yeah. watching them, taking what resonates for you and then seeing and checking in. Um, because we all know lots of people have got different opinions about what's going on. And just because yeah. you don't agree with one thing someone said, don't, doesn't mean you've got to chuck out everything they say. So can we ask the cards how people now that want to can start really tapping into their own inner guidance? Okay, interesting. The same, these same two cards just right. in different places came up. So there's that visualizing how you want the world to look and then seeking out uh, ways that you can create that. So this creates something. Part of the way you can create that is uh, like uh, when something is bombarding me that doesn't feel uh it doesn't res resonate resonate mm -hmm. yeah with me and it feels like it's disrupting and it's not that okay I don't want to hear that even though it's a truth it's not yeah. that kind of feeling it's more like I know in my deep soul that isn't true and I don't believe any part of that so step away from conversations like that it doesn't mean you have to complain about the person or they just have a different take than you it can even be within a video you can take this part and then this whole part over here doesn't work for you at all yeah okay I have quite a few people that I circulate watching Okay, because sometimes they feel like they're really getting it. And other times I don't need to hear it that way or whatever. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong or right about them. Someone else yeah. might not like them at all. And so who cares? None of that matters. It's like, just, just take it all. Like, it's like going to a reader. I always used to tell my clientele, I had clientele sometimes 20 years straight and they'd come see me. And I'd be like, you need to go see somebody else about this. I could be getting too close. I could be getting my ego involved. I could uh, really have a, my own vision of who you are. And uh, you need a fresh, sometimes just circulating fresh and going back to somebody you used to listen to just to see where they're at. And like, it's you, you need to uh, move it around. It's really important. Yeah. I do that quite a lot, Janine, in terms of, you know, I might be really into listening and getting a lot out of someone, then step away for a while yeah. and then be drawn back again because we're all changing. We're all changing yeah. all at different stages. So that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I hope that's helpful to people. Yeah, I just um, watched Mark Atwood yeah. with a woman, a psychic. Yeah, oh my goodness, right? So it's like, like, uh, I'm really excited about what she said, but I, it doesn't, I've never heard her before. So today I'm really excited about it because it aligned with exactly how I feel. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. But you know, three weeks for, I needed to hear it today. Exactly. So it up. I, I try to be intuitive about it. Yeah, I spoke to her a few times last year. She's an amazing lady, but I think yeah. her interviews were probably on my channel that got deleted. Okay, think, but she's a really amazing lady. Yeah, she's she really yeah. is. Yeah. So 
Um, fantastic. So, um, right, which one should we go on next? Okay, this one. <laughs> it's, it's sometimes quite hard to ask these questions with a straight face, but let's ask the cards about... I'm putting him in inverted commas, Prince Harry, the person that, that they are calling Prince Harry, okay. yeah. is really making a big deal about have, how everyone needs to be tested for AIDS at the moment. Can we ask the card, yeah. what is the purpose by this? What, what is this all about? Who's directing him to do this? Well, that, that's a good question. Okay, it's coming from uh, like a long time ago I got, but I haven't been looking at him for a while. Mm -hmm. But a long time ago I got, he came over to the White Hat side or the Alliance. And uh, out of necessity, not because he's like had a, a deep feeling of wanting to change as, <laughs> don't get me wrong, uh, you know what I mean? So he, they use his image. Yeah. I don't even know if a lot of what you see is real. Uh, like, is it, is it CGI? I don't know. Yeah. What it, okay, a mixture of a bunch of things, but they use his image. So this is the past, though. This would be normally a good guy, uh, but it's not necessarily the Alliance good guys, or I don't know who's controlling his, somebody's controlling his image, who owns his image now. Okay, this guy owns a lot of things. Somebody's controlling his image. And we've got surrender to, so it looks like some kind of propaganda, because this card can be uh, de fairly deceitful, especially if you have it next to this, because it can be about gossip and innuendo. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like they want to get that word out for some reason. Okay, and but the fool's in the middle. So I don't know how much of it's true with the fool in the middle. Okay, so uh, his image is putting this out there because somebody wants some, somebody wants to start a narrative. Yeah. That's what that looks like. Surrender. So it's not out of truth. It's out of, they have a reason they want to start the narrative. Okay, fear maybe. Here's the outcome. We've got the ace of cups. So the ace of, I don't think a lot of it's true. I think we'll have a whole nother thing come up. Uh, you know, there may be some booby trap batches of that thing that have that issue. Uh, but I, I don't know how much of it's true. I feel yeah. like that's the other side starting a narrative. So the good guys now, or maybe there's some in the middle people trying to start a narrative uh, to uh, add to the confusion right now, also to uh, get people thinking about what did they do and maybe yeah. they shouldn't do that anymore. Okay, they could have put anything in here and then maybe it gets people looking into the W. But he's not mentioning it, anything to do with this. Ah, but he's mentioning it to do that there's a new yeah. virulent strain of AIDS over. Okay. So he's not making yeah. any connection between this and yeah. that. But I wonder if they're trying to get this video off. <laughs> do you think they're trying to get people to make a connection? Yeah. Because if you look, there's all kinds of info about that as well. I feel like it's all to get you to uh, go in different directions. Mm -hmm. So it's like starting gossip and rumors with this card, and especially with the surrender and the fool in the middle. So uh, it's setting something out there and getting everybody looking into things. Yeah. You know, so because what all of a sudden that just floating around like uh, and everybody's getting it like does any of that make sense? Well, it's another thing again about just brainwashing people into get testing for something when they've got absolutely no symptoms at all. And I know lots yeah. of medical people will say, well, that's how you early diagnose things. But no, we're not yeah. talking about that at all. We're not talking, yeah. we're just talking about fear, 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 fear. Yeah. 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 Something, something good's going to come out of it, believe it or not. I don't know what, because that yeah. card says it creates something altogether different. Something good's going to come out of it. So uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what that is. But he's controlled opposition by the good guys right now so yeah. interesting yeah so i wouldn't believe a word of anything that people like people like him say <laughs> yeah exactly i know that's the thing when you're asking these questions it's just like 
you know, the pink unicorn told me today that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit like that. Okay, so the next one I've had quite a few questions on is that um, we've we've had with regard to the U country again, it's been reported by MSM that the TV stations over there in the zone where there's all the all the stuff going on have been taken out, um, targeted, and they've taken out all their TV stations. Can we ask the cards if that's true or not? Oh, wow, I wish they'd do that to our TV well, station. I wish they'd do it to ours, exactly. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, why yeah. haven't they? Yeah, okay, this is interesting. It looks like it. some of that might be true. Mm. So these are targeted sort of, so you got all this energy and very specifically targeting something and a whole bunch of them. Okay. And a whole bunch of, so they, it looks like they are doing something like that. Mm. Very specific wow. hits. And uh, that's that it's not necessarily targeting, maybe not as, maybe not all of them. Maybe yeah. they got some of them. And if the fool again, so you could be getting a mixture of misinformation and good information. Oh, yeah, starting a narrative too. So really tricky. Uh, so many things, I think they are targeting things, but maybe not exactly how it's being put out there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's interesting, because everyone keeps saying the truth always comes out in the end, but it hasn't so far. <laughs> and look, at, if you look at history, none of us really have got a clue what happened in the two world wars or or everything since. So yeah. I disagree with it. The fact that the truth always comes out in the end, yeah. not based on past experience, it doesn't. I'm hoping so, that is the case going forward, though. Yeah, I really hopefully, do. exactly. We're just really. Um, so the next question is how many of the worldwide military in terms of rough percentage know the truth of what's go what's going on and what's been going on <laughs> these two cards again this is the theme of the day yeah i shuffled them pretty good there uh, like uh we're not just pulling them off the top uh so we've got the the vision the vision of and or the wish and desire. Interesting that that would come up when you ask that question. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So right, looking at those two, uh, oh boy, I'd say a really good portion of them do. Yeah. Those are all really affirmative and all encompassing. Wow. Wow. So that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, they've all been told the truth about, like, I feel like they, they've been uh, let in on it. Mm. this guy's all about truth he's about truth and integrity and it looks like they're waiting uh they're gonna have a big moment really soon yeah so that moment when the military steps out i think that's real i think that's coming real soon looking at these cards they're waiting yeah. they're just waiting to be told they're all on notice it looks like that's like we're on notice any moment here we we could step out yeah they've been uh they've been told yeah Wow. wow that is pretty exciting yeah so that that leads on to march madness now again this is something that's a little bit of a bane of my thing and in, in terms of both sides are really like fear-mongering that there's going to be some huge great event that's going to you know affect everything and and we've had it you know every month we say this is going to be the month sort of thing yeah. but march madness as we're causing it um is there going to be something that's even going to um the way the question was asked was scared but i don't want to use that word cause is there something that's going to cause fear even in the awake people or will it be pretty obvious to the awake people that this is part of the wake up process uh it'll be really obvious to us if we're paying attention yeah because because it'll be really like it'll be really obviously a deep state dark cult sort of thing so it'll be something from their playbook that would be exactly what they would do yeah as they're still powerful and po ruling the world which we know they're not yeah okay and but very quickly get cleared up so like this is moving out of troubled water or seeing the big picture. When you look back at the big picture, you'll see exactly what 
are like, it's not them. It's, it's trying to help that, let you think it's them. Yeah. So they're going to do something. Definitely look, looking at the, these two cards, they're going to something, something's coming up and it's going to look really bad at first to everybody. Uh, but we're going to have the big overview because yeah. stay over, stay with your overview, stay with your knowing. Like I've actually wrote a few people like sleepers, but that I really care about family members. And I said, okay, things are happening. And I know you think I'm crazy now and everything, but when things get really crazy and you can't figure out what's up and what's down, uh, I still love you. Come and talk to me. I'll, I'll try to keep the, I told you so's that's literally what I said to a dull roar. Yeah. <laughs> Bring champagne and I might not even and, mention yeah. it. Be humble. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've said to a lot of my friends. Is yeah. that look, I'm very easily bribed with a bottle of champagne. Yeah. Um, so you know, if you want okay. to, then you know, come and discuss. I won't even mention it if you come with a nice bottle or. A... <laughs> so, oh my gosh, he is he is hoping. Okay, so, um, the next one is that, um, will the um. Uh, the Russia say it quickly will that country and the U country is this situation going to expose the corruption of um let's go Brandon family yep it's also going to show you uh or uh, give the white hats or the alliance a way to step out and or Mr. T to step back in where he belongs. So yes. Right. That's a big yes. Because it's the perfect now time, isn't it, for them to sort of come out and say, look, well, actually, you really want to know what's going on. Yep. Here you go, sort of thing. Um, There's already been like a, a Russian, I don't know if you saw it, I shared it on Telegram. I know, well, actually, I shared it everywhere. But there was a fellow no he was from the u country i think yeah i can't remember uh, an official yeah from the u country and he basically laid out exactly what the uh, power elites and in particular politicians in the u.s were doing in in the u country yeah it was yeah. brilliant wasn't it it was absolutely brilliant yeah I mean, whether it was right or not, I've got no idea because it's well above my level of job. Yeah. But it sounded very plausible to me. And actually, when I sent it to a lot of people that have got friends living in the U country, they all said they 100 percent agreed with it. Yeah. So that and they obviously knew a lot more what they were talking about yeah. than I do. Yeah. So, yeah, quite incredible. OK, slight change of tap now. Right. This is quite an interesting one. Is Antarctica beyond an ice wall surrounding a flat earth? And if so, will we find that out? So let's ask if it is first. Wow, that was a well put together question. I like it. Mm, me too. <laughs> Cards are being funny about it. Um, so interesting, like looking at that concept and this card here being very discerning about, and looking at that concept. So it's good to look at what we've been told. So mm. it starts the conversation about what we've been told, but this card says, so part of that might be some of that, what they said might be true, or the idea to look into what they say the world is like and how it is it's definitely different than you've been told. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't, there's no yes cards here. No. And the card says some of that, some of it, right? Because this is a, like a 60, 60, 40 kind of card. So a lot of it even, there's two sixes. So we could be talking about 60, 40. Okay. There, there's definitely things from our past that could be revealed if we go up to Antarctica yeah. or go down to it. Everybody gets mad at me. I say up. I yes. don't know why I keep saying up to it. Maybe uh, that's even been reversed. Who knows? Exactly. Exactly. That's my excuse. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I say it no matter what. I always say up, but so down or whatever. Whatever direction it is, it looks like. And we have a lot of ancestral knowledge hidden there or things about our past. 
because this card's about nostalgia and your past. So two sixes. And in time, er, the truth will come out. But this is kind of a 50-50 card. So some of that might be true. But I don't think it's all true. I don't no, think it's no, literally not as straightforward as that. The, the flat type, earther type people say, I don't think it's just like that. I don't think it's just like what NASA has been telling us or yeah. showing us. So I think it's somewhere in the middle. And before I was asked directly that, what's going on what shape is the world and i got it was maybe a bit of both and, and wavers back and forth so talk about wild i don't exactly. think it's literal as we think it is well you just reminded me of something there because there's a whole whole thing about shape shifting ah and my thought is just something else it's not a well thought out thought is that the shape shifting things, you know how they have all in plain sight and it's to throw us off. And so we always assume that shape shifting is a bad thing, but yep. it could be something that's a natural part of the process of, of, of the good process as well. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Um, and you might notice shape shifting more when you're more awake as a person, exactly. because you realize that things are so literal as you thought they were. Yeah, because we're all just energy and we see these defined lines and that's the end of us. But loads of people can see auras and loads of yeah. people, um, you know, it's particularly if they take psychedelics or into activating their own DMT can see things shifting anyway. So yeah. I think I think there's something about the shape shifting that's um, a real red herring to make us think it's all evil when it's not. Should we ask the cards that? Sure. Unfortunately, my wine isn't activating my DMT. <laughs> so shape shifting. So we've got a karmic balance card. And we've got uh, this guy tells the truth, even if it hurts kind of thing. Uh, he's not as brutal as the Queen of Swords. She's quite brutal about it. He even has a bit of a sense of humor. That's why his sword's slightly slanted. Also, he leaves room for interesting concepts like kind of what you're saying right mm. like that is an interesting concept right so it feels like that's karmically correct what you said it feels like that's correct and we've got this too but it's not ready to we're not maybe ready to fully but we're almost ready because that too is almost ready a lot of people it maybe happens right in front of their eyes but they don't see it because yeah. that card chooses to see something or not. It's like, I'm not going to see anything. I got the blindfold on right there. Choosing not to see something. So I feel like it would depend on your level of openness. Because this guy's open to truth. Yeah. And when he knows the truth, he speaks it. But he's open to seeing it from different perspectives. Yeah. Whereas the Queen of Swords, she only sees one truth. Yeah. So she's slightly less open-minded than him. He's more advanced because he's open-minded interesting right so i think as we become open-minded i think we'll we'll see the truth more so uh i i guess that's a yes to what you were asking mm. Mm. yeah and no, it just suddenly makes sense to me and i thought god they've made it so awful but actually when you realize that we're not solid beings we're vibrating balls of energy anyway yeah. we're all shape-shifting all the time it's just we our eyes don't allow us to see it or comprehend it mm -hmm but animals see very different things. Yeah. 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 I've seen humans shape shift and not in a bad way. Um, yeah. My medicine man in the Haida Gwaii. And I also had a landlord. Haida Gwaii is a very magical place. I'm going there actually in May and I can't wait. Ashley and I are going to take a road trip. We got it all planned. But um, I, so the landlord was quite, maybe I wouldn't call him dark magical, but he, this landlord I had there in this really spooky place I live, which was, it's a brilliant place. And I cleared the energy a lot from the darkness it was, but this guy was a shape shifter. And uh, he would come look in my window as various different critters, including this one particular stripy cat. And I always knew it was him. It's like, yeah. oh, there's um, so-and-so looking in the window. Hilarious. But yeah, that guy, I literally watched him shape shift into that cat. That's how I knew it was him. <laughs> yeah. I love to shape shift into a cat. Yeah. yeah. 
That would be my idea of heaven. Oh my gosh. Idris, will you teach me how to do it? His line back there. No, I, I just think this is so fascinating. I think this is all part of the stuff that is all gonna open up to us and everything. So, you know, perhaps I will get my tail after all. Um, so um, the satellites that are in space, are they really in space or are they hanging off helium balloons? Well, it might be none of those, but that was the question. Well, we'll go with, are they really in space? Yeah. Because, yeah, it's too hard to answer. Like, Yeah, two questions. Answer. That's two different questions, isn't it? So we got the tower. And so it looks like it's maybe a lot different than we think, because this is a revelation card. And there's a five of swords. So you won't even believe it when you hear it. Okay, yeah. so that's interesting. It's going to be a revelation. And it's technology brought by elders or or wise ones galactic helpers all these words you could use for this or our future selves come back to visit us and let us in on things which by the way that woman that was on mark atwood that's what yeah. and you you interviewed her that's who she says she is she's from our yeah. future she's from the future in the aquarian age and uh so that's exactly that kind of energy mm. right she would probably be this card if she's what she says she is She'll probably yeah. come up with that card. So that's exciting. Yeah. So uh, it's, I don't know how, how to say it, but um, it'll be really different. I don't think it's any of those. I don't think it's yeah. hanging from helium balloons or, or in literally in space. I think it's a whole different thing because this is while you're busy looking at these ways it could be, it's a whole different way. Yeah. Yeah. It's the way our mind, it's like, black or white isn't it it's we're so trained to think like that it's like yeah. if this person's either good or bad and it's always 50 yeah. shades of gray <laughs> interesting it looks like we're gonna find out soon we just can't see it yet but when the whole world does this big turn we're gonna know all of this stuff will be revealed soon when we're ready to see it yeah some people see it already but i think the main population when they're ready are we're gonna see it brilliant so much to learn about right um okay is the sun closer to us than we're told much closer to us Okay, well, I'd say no, uh, because this card is the sun, the way we know it, because that's how I asked the question. The sun, the way we've been told, comes up as truth and integrity. Mm. She's truth and integrity. Uh, and this card, so if for now, it works to think of it that way is what this looks yeah. like. So uh, I, I don't think it's, because uh, this, this card, there might be some slight differences, or there's a movement around it, maybe it moves back and forth distance, which kind of wouldn't make a lot of sense to exactly what we've been told. But this card says there might be a little room to negotiate. Okay, but for the most part, it works to think of it that the way we've been told. So that's interesting. Well, anyone living in England, it makes perfect sense to move back to four because we can have one day where it's just really hot and really sunny and the next day when it's like midwinter. Yeah, so we're like that too here. Yeah. We have a lot of likeness in weather, I think, more so yeah. than even discussed in the past. Exactly, exactly. You know, I was yeah. looking at some pictures that came up on the awful Facebook last year, last from last year. And, you know, yeah. in February last year, we were really heavy snow because I've got yeah. pictures of all the horses in snow. I'd completely forgotten. Yeah. Thank goodness we forget those things because I always forget. assume as soon as March comes, it's going to get warmer and warmer. And we usually have one blast in March where we're yeah. like, now we're 20 below again. And I hope that doesn't wear some wood to touch. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I'm hoping that's not the case, but you know, almost every year it happens at least a couple of days. Yeah. Now, I think some of this is based in spiritual energy that maybe we're not entirely privy to yet so the thing about the sun it's a spiritual energy it's a spirit mm. energy it's it may be spiritual it may even be a spirit entity it may be may not be like planets like we think of them yeah 
Interesting. I bet it's not, wow. actually. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. Completely wild. So this one, I think, is a really nice one from my friend, um, Andrea. Okay. Um, what guidance can the universe or the cards give to us that those of us that think will wait so that the next period, the next few months go smoothly? Uh, get out in nature. Yeah. Uh, make yourself comfortable. Be kind to yourself. She lavishes herself with uh, kindness and attention first so she can be generous to others. Okay, so do something nice for yourself first before trying to give to others. A lot of people forget that. Yeah. Okay, like uh, have your bath first in the morning if that's what gets you going. I'm just speaking personally because mm. I'm a Taurus. So I got to have my nice tub with lots of nice smelly things, which thank you very much for your beautiful gift box. From your lovely shop. Yeah. <laughs> that was the sweetest thing. Uh, and I love the salts in particular, which is quite funny. Oh, uh, that I'm using those salts that I helped sort of figure out what scents to put in them. But anyway, so doing nice things for yourself and getting sitting in nature. She loves to enjoy nature. Very important. And this guy also and also enjoy the fruits of the world. OK, yeah. a funny thing I've been doing because I feel intuitively like we're going to we're going to be short some things in the future. I've been going out and making sure I stockpile on them. And I, I not not to the point of hoarder, I'm not a hoarder, uh, but I've been getting like, I got my favorite coffee, you know, five bags. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? So if there's shortages, shortages of things, just really like just help your day better, your day go better. Uh, you wanna get, make sure you got a, a few things if you can, if you can get a few of your favorite things stocked up because there is going to be shortages of things. We're all going to have to learn to uh, grow our own things. And I don't know how many of us know how to grow coffee beans. You know what I mean? And yeah. things like that. And I know five bags isn't going to get me through, you know, a year or whatever, but it'll get me through some months anyway. Right. So just doing a few, getting, getting out there. Cause this guy's good to ourselves. Okay, so and also if if our dollar's about to crash, which I believe it will here in the West, are the dollars about yeah. to, like that what they call the fiat dollar? So that'll affect everybody's dollar. You know what I mean? Uh, like I've been I've been uh, sharing mine a lot to uh, get, saying, okay, go get the stuff you need right now with this. Exactly. While it's still worth you know, and there might be a period of time. It looked like certainly in March where you won't be able to. Uh, I've been telling people to, uh, you know pay for things in advance and get them yeah. so you can still get your money's worth now. Okay. And I've even put off doing my kitchen reno because I got a feeling uh, the prices will be absurd to get, to get it. Building materials have gone through the roof. So right, I just kind of really have things. over here as well. Yeah. I can deal with my bad seventies kitchen and uh, we'll de deal with it when the dust settles on the other side of this and the Jasara and the Sara thing. I believe that's real. When the RV reset, if that's real, that happens. It looks like it is like so there's a lot of things going to change everything. But for a while, there'll be discomfort. That's yeah. my belief. So I've been doing things. And so this is saying do things that make you feel comfortable. And, and if that's just sitting in nature, Ashley and I went for a nice drive yesterday and we saw two eagles like you don't see eagles almost ever around here we saw two eagles and two ravens we couldn't believe it yeah uh, it was incredible like the ravens are, are more common because we're close to the mountains so we'll see the ravens come into the city they usually get chased out by the uh, crows mm -hmm. you'll see 50 crows chasing one raven that's quite funny. Uh, crows could be like the mainstream media chasing a truth or I yeah. don't know. It's kind of funny. Uh, but we saw two eagles. So we had a feeling because when you're out in nature, you're getting all of these. It's like getting for me anyway, it feels like I'm getting affirmations. I feel Absolutely. like something big's going down in the US seeing two eagles because eagles are their symbol. Yeah, you're so right. And I, I'm so lucky because I get out in nature for hours and hours each day because I'm yeah. doing my taking my horses. My dogs always have at least a two hour walk every day. Oh, and that's the thing. So go on. So go along one. And that's really interesting because what I've really, really noticed with my little um, rescue dogs that, that can be 
um, quite fearful of reaction in certain circumstances. I've noticed a huge shift over the last couple of months. And yes, they are getting older anyway, but it's a really, really noticeable shift in terms of how tolerant they are to everything else around them. And they've even stopped chasing the squirrels. You know, it's oh. like they're sending us a message of like, right, now we've moved on to the next level of maturity where mm -hmm. we're really setting an example that we can do this. We're letting go of our old baggage and moving on to our new selves. It's really quite profound, actually. Wow. Yeah, it's really quite amazing. There's nothing like getting out in nature. Yeah. You've, it's funny about the kitchen because I'm meant to be getting my kitchen. I've been waiting 20 years for my new kitchen. And we've just saved up the money because I love, I'm like Ashley. I spoke to Ashley last week on our passion series. And yeah. I'm like Ashley. I love making herbal teas, but, you know, different herb mixes to yeah. burn, herbal ointments, mixing essential oils into different things. I love that. And I yeah. haven't made any more videos on that because I had loads on my YouTube channel that got taken, got deleted mm -hmm. because yeah. I'm waiting for my new kitchen because my current one's such a disgrace. But I think I'm just going to have to do them and not wait. <laughs> <laughs> and just ignore the kitchen in the background yeah but yeah it's it's just lovely just collecting and I have noticed what you were saying about getting stuff I noticed a lot of people are really interested now on in learning how to safely forage without taking too much and how to dry their own things and make their own dandelion coffee and things like that huh. thing it's, it's definitely a big yeah. interest in it yeah how exciting I mean so Ashley could start a whole uh dandelion uh or you know huge organization because she has so many dandelions that's I love that every year she gets all of these uh letters about it and you know from the city and she writes them you know yeah by the way these are good for you blah blah I love that about people that love plants and it sounds like you're the same oh, they you know them. like what just because the the c word says dandelions are bad because that's probably where that comes from Think about it. The dark cult tells you, yeah, the dandelions are a weed. Okay, it turns out they're so good for you in so, so many ways. So good for you. And yeah. stinging nettles. You know, people yeah. think stinging nettles are neat. Stinging nettles are so so good for you and so so nutritious. While yeah. the highest sources of vitamin C, they're just amazing for so many different, and they cleanse everything. Yeah. So yeah, it's really exciting. I love talking to Ashley about that because we were just, you know, so we've got yeah. such the same interest. This is why I can't wait when we go and see each other. Yeah. Because it's just going to be such fun, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. It's be such I fun. love that uh, video you did with her. And I think it'd be really fun to meet all your critters. Oh, yes, I've got to. I've got a couple more. I've got another video that I'll put up tomorrow that I've been doing. The problem I've got, my friend Andrew is going to come over because when I'm doing all the animals, I haven't got enough yeah. hands to then video it. Yeah. So, yeah. so I need an extra pair of hands. But they're, yeah. they're just amazing. And, and the level of messages they're giving on a daily basis is yeah. just unbelievable it really is it's just lovely uh -huh. and like when I was talking to Ashley like your cat's always coming in and and yeah. Tobe was coming in it's just wonderful so but your trip to the Haragai with her will be amazing yeah we can't wait I bet you we can't. had to book the ferry and everything you have to book if you're thinking of going you have to book literally at least two or three months ahead yeah especially in high traffic times I'm going in May which is we're going in May which is not necessarily a high traffic and we're not flying we're we're driving because we have a whole thing we need to do first we have to yeah. drop off my son's car in Vancouver and yeah so we got all this stuff but it'll be a fun road trip because her Lovely. and I love the same music and we get along great so yeah, it'd be amazing. So thank you so much. So any final message from you or the card before we let's see. That's funny that both of us today have an uplifted feeling. Like I just feel great. I just yeah. feel really, really great. I I do mean, yeah. 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 There's surprises coming. There's a surprise coming that involves the military, it looks like. Yeah. Wow. Let's let's hope that's the thing they've been talking about for so long. Because even though that'll be kind of, you know, button pushy for a lot of people, yeah. it'll knowing that will be so good because we'll know that all of this will come out. 
if that if that happens yeah so people remember the big picture when that happens so it looks like that's that's the next big uh, yeah. we got a big, uh, big thing and a surprising thing also this this can be about uh, we ones from 12 and under to the very yeah. like zero so little little ones okay so yeah uh, it's somehow tied to some information maybe coming out about that or that goes along with it because remember that i keep getting that's the next thing it has to be exposed in a big way never yeah. mind mr b getting it never mind it but all stems back to what they've been doing with zero uh, uh zero to twelves and 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 humans not yeah. just zero to twelve but in particular that Exactly. That's sort of something that has to. So in this card can be about information coming out. So that was in the past and it leads to this. So it leads to, so we've already seen it in the U country. And that's really what they're going in there for is to clean up things and labs of different yeah. sorts, start with bees. And, uh, but with now t Taiwan likely uh, yeah. and Australia, apparently huge organ they still got a lot of that going on there so there's those two places that i don't know which one will go first but i think there's going to be similar things yeah. that look like a conflict situation and it's really to clean those up and bring that all out and bring out the uh these guys yeah so if it gets overwhelming for you listeners you know remember you can go for a walk you can Go and play with someone's dog or cat if you haven't got one of your own. Look up planting vegetables, you know, just plant. doesn't matter whether it's on a windowsill, if you've only got a window box or whether you've got a huge garden, whatever fits you, that it's just so rewarding and it will just take mm -hmm. you back down and calm you down and everything. Yeah. It's so important, isn't it, that we don't yeah. slip into that fear again. Hands in the dirt. Yeah. Hands, my nan always used to say that whenever she was doing, because she was still gardening to the day she died, and everyone used to say, you know, well into her 90s, and she'd say, whenever I put my hands in the earth, it's like all my problems disappear. Yeah. So Good true, one. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Janine. Right. Thank you so much, everyone that's watching. Yeah. I will be giving everyone regular updates on my new, I can feel my contractions starting now. Um, on my new you want to see pictures. Oh, you will be seeing lots of pictures. You should see the room I've got. My poor son, I must just say, very, my long suffering son, because we've got, we're very experienced at bringing animals into the house, you know, so yeah. we've got rescue. So what we do is we set up my son's room. So it's yeah. got a stair gate so that all the other animals can sniff and get to know the new arrival, but the new arrival's not overwhelmed and feels safe. Yeah. And I've bought loads of lovely herbs to put in the room because she can't go out for a while. So I've brought nature to her. So yeah. But all the others know they they've seen the setup, so they know someone's coming. So, yeah, I'm going to virtually have more Romanians in my house than English now. So very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you so much, Janine, and we shall see you again next week. See you Bye. next week, one.